I'm just gonna give it to you guys right now. And the answer is no. You don't need to know how to read notes in order to learn how to play the drums or even to be a good drummer. But will reading notes and understanding basic theory help you to improve in your drumming? Probably. That said, should you be reading off a sheet note for note while you're on a gig? Highly, highly unlikely. So with those things in mind, should you at this moment be learning how to read notation? It depends. And that's it for this video. We're done here. Thanks for tuning in. Bye. Seriously though, this is a very challenging issue that I have to deal with in my teaching all the time because the fact of the matter is that everyone learns differently and also everyone has had a different experience and journey in how they get to know and experience the drum set. And we all have different goals as well in terms of what we're trying to achieve as drummers. Let's take the example of a person who just naturally learns very well by ear. And perhaps this person grew up in a very musical family, they were exposed to hearing music with a lot of drum beats in them at a young age, or they grew up around another drummer, they got to see people playing while they were kids. So the very first time this person sits down at a drum set, they already have some kind of an idea of how parts of the drum set are going to sound, how a drummer looks like while they're playing the drums, so they know where their hands go because they have been exposed to this kind of music over a long time. Maybe this person, while they were learning, um, they had access to drums as a kid. So, you know, every day after school, they had hours of free time to just play whatever came to mind. And so they developed this early kinesthetic sense of how drum beats function on a kid. And in those cases, it could be that these people are just predisposed to learning easily by ear. But for many of us who learn drums perhaps at a later stage in life, it could be that you did not grow up in a very musical environment. And if you were not immersed in music for 20, 30, 40 years of your life, and now you're trying to get into it, when you listen to music and people tell you, oh, just listen out for the beats and just feel the rhythm and play, your brain has no idea what it's listening to because you just haven't been exposed to that and it's not any fault of yours. It was just a different upbringing and a different life experience that brought you to the point you're at now. Or it could be that you're just a very visual learner and hearing things just takes such a long time to register. If you're a visual learner and you're going for drum lessons but the teacher is just expecting you to remember the beats that you were taught that week, it's going to be quite a challenge for you to progress because you'll pretty much just forget what you heard in the lesson by the time you get home and then you won't be able to practice it and you'll have to come back the next week and learn the same thing again. So it would be so much easier if you had the notation to just refer to so at least you can remember what it was that you were supposed to be working on that week. From this hypothetical example, I hope you guys can see what I mean by we have different learning styles and some people are just going to gravitate more naturally to learning by ear. Some people are going to gravitate more naturally to learning through visually looking at notation. That said, there are pros and cons to both of these methods. Let me talk a little bit about what I have experienced from working with students who basically only can play drums through reading notes. So these are usually students who come from a background of having taken drum lessons for a while, or maybe they're self-taught, but you watch a lot of instructional videos, you download drum scores from the internet, or maybe you've been playing along to some of my notation covers. And obviously, it is not a bad thing to be able to read and play those scores. But that said, there are a couple issues with only being able to play from notation, and I really want you guys to be aware of these potential pitfalls if you fall into that category of drummers who only learn through reading notation. The number one issue with reading scores is that there is a high chance that you have no idea what you're doing. If you can only play a beat while you are staring at the chart, and the moment you look away from your notes, the beat falls apart, you really don't know what you're doing. And that's a very dangerous thing to do because so many drum students who play from reading notes kind of just deceive themselves into thinking that they're better than they are. You think you can play this really complicated thing, but the fact is, if you take away the sheet music and you can't play it, you haven't spent enough time internalizing that pattern yet to understand what it actually is. 
you probably have no idea what it really sounds like because you're just looking at notes on a page, often as a sequence, and you're not understanding what the components of the groove are. Like, what is the symbol doing if that's the timekeeping part? What exactly is the groove to that song? How could you modify it in a different context? Why is that groove being played in the song? Notation itself should be used as a communication device and not as a crutch that you are leaning on the entire way because it's so hard to understand anything that's happening in the music if you're just staring at a chart. The problem with just reading notes and trying to learn a song from reading notes is that you don't go through the whole process that people who learn by ear do, which is just hearing sounds and trying to make sense of those sounds. If you look at a beat on a paper, it could look really simple. Maybe it's just eighth notes. But when you're listening to it, the entire process of trying to figure out where in the eighth note grid of time that kick and snare is, is not actually that simple. And when you learn by ear, you go through that long process of digesting and understanding how all these subdivisions sound. Whereas if you just read it from a piece of paper, you are just copying the answers without going through all the work and the process to get there. So you probably just haven't put in as much time with that beat as someone who learned it by ear has. And the net result is maybe you can actually play the song faster than the person learning it by ear, but their beat is probably going to sound better than yours because they've spent so much time with it and they can play it without looking at the chart, which means they can actually put some of their mental energy into listening to whatever else the rest of the band is doing. How you can kind of combat this problem is whenever you're learning anything from notes, make sure you take the time to take that bar outside of the song you learned it in or just take that exercise and repeat it until you can play that particular beat or fill without looking at the notation. And while you're playing it, I want you guys to try listening to each individual component of whatever it is you're playing. So if it's a groove, listen out for what your cymbal pattern is, what the kick pattern is, what the snare pattern is, and make sure that you can understand all those different components of the groove besides just staring at it and playing it. Being able to listen to what the individual components are in any beat that you learn is going to help you so much when you do want to try learning a drum part by ear. The other detrimental thing about reading scores in order to learn songs is that most sheet music is just bars and bars and bars of notes without telling you what the sections of the song are. And even if they do have section titles like chorus and verse, it's just you're just being arbitrarily told that that is what a chorus is, that is what a verse is. You're not necessarily actually listening to the song and figuring out what those sections of the music sound like. I have met so many drum students who can be learning drums for quite a while and actually don't know how to tell what a verse or chorus in a piece of music is. Or it could be the student can actually play through a whole song, but when I ask them, oh, do you know which part was the guitar solo? Or where was the part where the bass guitar came to the foreground? They have no idea what's happening in the music or more alarmingly, they have no idea what the melody of the song is. This is, again, super dangerous because when you're just learning a song from sheet music, there's a high chance that you haven't actually paid any attention to the song. And drummers are also musicians. The drummer who created that drum part that you're learning, they created it because they were listening to what everyone else in their band was playing. So you need to be able to hear the sections in the song and understand why the drummer was playing a certain way in order to really deliver that song well and to be able to function in a band setting. In order to effectively play a song, you need to understand the journey that the song is bringing us through and how the drum parts contribute to that journey. If you don't know where the sections are, whatever you're playing is not actually going to make a lot of sense. It doesn't help you when you're trying to learn other songs faster because once you understand the structure of a song and why drum parts work a certain way, the next time you learn a song that has a similar structure, it's going to go by so much faster because you already understand how one section flows into the other and what kind of fills or what kind of drum parts are more likely to be used in that transition. If you only read notes A to Z, 
every song is going to be like learning from scratch again. That there is our second huge danger of learning from sheet music and that is the potential of effectively ignoring the whole song and not understanding how song structure works. That is not to say that learning through notation is completely bad for you. Let's take a moment to look at the other side of things. What are the possible dangers of only learning through playing by ear? Now, the first problem is that not all of us can hear every little nuance in a drum part and replicate it accurately. Or you might not have the necessary vocabulary needed to understand what you're hearing. If you only know a little bit of some other language and someone gives a huge speech in that language, you'd probably be able to give the gist of what they were saying, but you might miss out on a lot of the exact nuance and idioms that they were using just because you're not familiar with the terminology that they're talking about. And so in the same way, a lot of drummers who play by ear just end up simplifying the parts down to fit with their existing vocabulary. And if you're not deliberate in expanding your vocabulary, you're going to run into the problem where you just force your own current vocabulary into every single song and you might start realizing that all the songs you play kind of sound the same and all your fills sound the same and it's very hard to break out of that if you don't understand notation because you might not have the theoretical framework necessary to expand and grow your ideas and you can't even check out what other people are doing if you can't hear to that level of detail. It's also a bit limiting in terms of genre and the type of songs you can play because, let's face it, there are simple songs that you can kind of wing your way through, but I can't imagine playing a lot of technical progressive songs and music that I enjoy if I didn't understand notes and music theory. That said, there are actually many prog metal type songs that I have learned by ear, but I would say that I can only learn that by ear because I know how to read notes and I understand the theory behind what is being played. So it becomes easier for me to listen out to what that drummer is doing and I don't have to guess at where notes are because I know how to count and I know how to place the notes in whatever subdivision it is that's being played. If I didn't have that theoretical background, it would be much more difficult to learn those complicated songs by ear. So kind of jumping ahead of myself, but that's how reading notes and playing by ear can work together. The other downside about learning songs by ear is that your memory needs to be really good. If the song is any kind of complicated, you're going to have to need to remember so many different drum beats. And if you're on a gig and you need to learn 20 songs, if you can't remember the parts for 20 songs, that's just going to be a nightmare. If you're able to write charts for yourself, it becomes a breeze because you can just refer to the notes and it's a lot faster to learn songs that way rather than having to listen to the entire five minutes of a song in order to learn it by ear. So that is my take on the dangers of learning songs through reading notes as well as learning songs purely by ear. And the more nuanced answer I would say is that it's important to learn how to read notes and music theory in order to expand your vocabulary and in fact improve your listening. And then, on the other hand, it's important to listen to songs to understand structure and to improve your musicality. The scores very rarely tell you anything about how to express what is being played or why something was being played. So definitely, you should not be relying on notes in order to play a song. Reading is also really useful for those of you who want to be teachers, and this is where the goal part of your drumming comes into play. If you at any point aspire to be a drum teacher, I would say you absolutely need to read notation. And I always tell my students that notes exist mainly for the purpose of communication. And you can also educate yourself when you can read. There's so many wonderful music books out there written by amazing musicians. And if you just refuse to spend that hour or so to teach yourself basic music theory and how to read notes, you're just cutting yourself off from all that information. But when it comes to learning music and songs, I really, really encourage you guys to listen. Listen actively to the song, listen to the different parts of the song, the different sections, the lyrics, the melody, the dynamics, and of course the drum part. Even if you are referring to a score, do not trust drum scores blindly because 
even a 100% accurate score is not going to adequately be able to communicate the tiny nuances and subtle dynamics that a drummer puts into the song. And that said, most of the time, sheet music you download online has mistakes. Even the sheets that I put up, I try to make them pretty accurate, but once in a while, there are mistakes. And I purposely don't add dynamic markings in my scores because I want you guys to be able to listen to the music and at least have that level of interpretation. So the score is there just to help guide you, to show you what is being played, but just don't rely on it too much. And honestly, as someone who posts a lot of these tutorial videos, I sometimes feel a bit conflicted about those videos because as much as you guys tell me that you really appreciate them and you've learned so much being able to see what the actual part was so that you can learn it more effectively, sometimes I just feel that I'm robbing you guys of that chance to be able to learn it by ear and there's this whole process that you're skipping out on if you just refer to the scores. That said, I also understand that not everyone has the time or ability to just sit down and go through that kind of detailed listening. So I will leave it up to you based on whatever situation you're in, but just know that these are the potential areas that you need to look out for and just make sure you're not sabotaging yourself in your drumming growth by relying too much on scores or by oversimplifying parts by not reading scores. And that was me ranting about whether or not you need to be able to read notes as a drummer. So do you read notes? What do you guys think about it? Let me know in the comments. Personally, I encourage all my students to learn how to read notation. You don't necessarily need to be able to sight read or to read super fast unless you're intending to be a session player. But I think everyone should have at least a basic understanding of notes and note values so that if you need to figure out a part, you can sit down and figure it out note by note. Or if there are some hits in a song in some unusual locations, you know how to count those and you can create your drum parts around them accordingly. All right, that is it from me for today. I will continue to post more notation covers, but I'm just going to trust that you guys will exercise your best judgment whenever you're using those to learn songs. Use that to help you, but don't use it as a crutch. Take care, happy drumming, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.